Welcome back, everyone. How is the cyber job market going on right now? How is it affecting you personally? I want to tell you guys something that may be a shock, maybe not. There are still companies hiring, but the companies that are hiring, they're hiring people who has more experience. So what happens to everyone who just graduated college that don't have any experience, don't have no previous roles in any type of job what happens well a select few has been interning right that's that's pretty common right you graduate all while you're still on the verge of graduating you participate in an intern program and you get selected because you're still competing against other people to fill these internships and then on top of that after the fact co co companies corporations are reluctant to hire newbies. And when I say newbies are people who have uh, no prior corporation experience and nothing that they can say, hey, hire me because I know this and this and this. Usually uh, those beginners and those people who have no experience don't have any of the, I know this and this and this. Now, what I have noticed is the positions that are hiring or the companies that are hiring for higher level positions, you can almost call them SMEs. The pay is ridiculously low. And get this, I want to share this one with you because I just experienced it myself. There was a company that has multiple office locations, but yet they won't entertain the, per the candidate meaning if let's just say I was to get this position to travel to the closer office because that's not where the team is. The team, unfortunately, is an hour drive out. And so if you add that up on a daily basis, it's a round trip of two hours. Now, granted, currently the position is hybrid, but that's only because they're doing renovation. Once this renovation is complete, it's five days in office, two hour round trip. With technology on how it is today, I just don't understand what and why the call for in office. Now, I actually do understand why, because it's control, it's real estate, it's cost spending, they want to see you, they want to manipulate you they want to lock you in the days of working remote are pretty much gone so i'm thinking like I'm, I'm trying to figure out if that's the case if remote work now some of you come back and say no i got remote work i'm not saying that remote work is not out there but the percentage is a lot lower but then on top of all that is that now that some of these companies are not going full remote and they're having to hire within their circle region, like the radius of, let's just say, two to five miles. You're, you're limiting your talent pool is what I'm saying. And that just, it, it boggles my mind. Now, if I was to start a company and I was to work with individuals that have talent, and especially I'm interviewing and I'm sourcing people, I don't care where they are, as long as the productivity is there. And if it's not, then guess what? I'll hire someone else. I just don't understand why they can't go that route. So for all you new people, and I say new people, people coming into the industry for the first time, or even some of you guys who have been trying to look for a job and just don't have any success or any luck with that, and you want to transition out of this, I don't blame you. Cybersecurity has shifted and it, and it's the facts. Cybersecurity is not what it was two, three years ago. Definitely not. Where you just graduated and you were guaranteed a job almost because you had a certain skill set that nobody else had. But unfortunately now you and a couple million other people, candidates that graduated from the same program have the same skill set as you so what does that make it 
very saturated. And because of that, there's not going to be a lot of positions open to fill all these young professionals. Unfortunately, what happens now is that everything is shifting to AI. So if you jump on this bandwagon of trying to capitalize and learn AI, you potentially may get a job a lot quicker than if you keep on focusing on cybersecurity. Now, of course, that's not going to last forever as well, because as we saw with cybersecurity, it's going to happen with AI. Give it another year or two, these programs, colleges, boot camps, AI this, AI that, everyone's going to come out with an AI degree. And mind you, I have no idea what the hell an AI degree would consist of at the current moment, because we're all so new to it. But when that time happens, it'll be no different from where we are today. Now, roll back, rewind 20 years ago, I probably would compare all of this to when you had a CCNA. Talk about having a CCNA today and you probably sound like you just pulled a toy out of a Cracker Jack box because that's how irrelevant it is in today's world. What's more important probably is like if you know or have certifications in AWS, Azure, and or any other cloud platform of company's preference. And we're just following trends. So are we really the ones chasing or are companies out there who capitalize on talent just directing you where to go? Because now that cybersecurity is where it is, it has matured to a point where we don't need 10 SOC you know, analysts and we can do with just one or two uh, because now we have other tools to replace those individuals. Sort of like walking into McDonald's and not seeing a bunch of staff people waiting around opposed to multiple kiosks that take up half of the restaurant's real estate. And these are not small kiosks, they're, they're huge. I, I honestly think they're like 50 inch screens, literally standing vertically in the middle of the restaurant. So just so you can place an order on this virtual menu or digital menu. So I, it's hard. My point is that cybersecurity is definitely not what it was or is anymore. And trying to find a job now, you would probably have a better chance of pivoting into something AI related to get your foot in the door. And unfortunately, AI has nothing to really do with cybersecurity, but at the same time, there's a lot of vulnerabilities in AI where it kind of relates to cybersecurity. So go figure. And that's a, another one of my discussions for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just, you know, hit that subscribe and obviously I'll be putting out more videos similar to this. Thank you and I'll see you guys again really soon. Take care.